All right, everybody, I just got back from Devil's Lake, North Dakota, and shot a few videos for you guys. Um, this first one right now is going to be a tip-up fishing video. Um, did fantastic, got a lot of big northerns, uh, good size ones anyway. Uh, my father-in-law got a 37-incher, which is the nicest one. Uh, we've seen bigger ones pulled out, so anyway, I want to give a shout-out to James Sullivan and his tip drops. Uh, it's the first time I got to actually use them. I saw them in action here about two weeks ago, and I thought they were fantastic. Uh, my buddy Andy actually just gave me two of them. You know, Andy, James, T. Wild, Dan, the New York boys. I um, want to thank them for leaving those tip drops with me. Well, they're Andy's tip drops, I believe. So thank you, Andy, but thanks, you guys, for showing up. But these Sullivan tip drops, I had three of them out. Um, my buddy Cody Hill, he borrowed me um, his. So we had three of those out, and we had five tip-ups out. We ended up catching, I believe it was, we caught like 23 or 24 northerns total. We threw back some smaller ones, uh, you know, whatever. We kept some. But out of those 23 or 24 we caught, we had three tip drops out and five tip ups out. And we caught 14 fish, I believe, on tip drops and nine on tip ups. So you look at that factor, you know, we caught more on the tip drops and we had way less of them, you know, than we had the tip ups. I really believe having the smelt on those tip drops, you know, with the wind teetering those a little bit, really uh, contributed with a better bite. And talk about fun, you'll see, I'll, I'll get close up on these videos of them in action and setting the tip drop out. So down in the description of this video, I'm going to put uh, the Sullivan tip drop links down here, whatever, you know, I got to do to get uh, James some credit for this. They are an excellent and fun uh, product to use way more fun than your average tip up you know why not fight the fish on a rod than on a tip up itself you know so anyway hope you enjoy this video i'm going to put out two of them so this is going to be the first one all right well let's get to it all right got my rod here heavy action rod 32 inches long i got 40 pound braid on it with a homemade quick strike i'll show you the, the quick strike here it's just a 16 inch liter 14 inch liter then I have a clip here with the treble hook so I can make that adjustable any size I want. All right, got a smelt here. Hook this back here a little ways. And the other one, just pour it a little bit. There you go. All right, got my flasher here. We're fishing 12 feet of water right now up in some trees. Now I'm going to suspend this bait about four and a half feet off the bottom. Take a minute here for it to get down. Alright. Alright. Alright, now, so you have the tip down here. These are these are wind activated, windy days, they, they you know work quite well. What you want to do is you want to loosen your drag up to the point where if a fish grabs that and takes takes after it or takes off with it, they won't feel any back tension. You just slide it in to the tip drop like so, slide it forward, and you set your rod length and then you set this by the weight of your rod. So you, you just want this teetering. So when this, you know, when this fish comes and hits this, it'll come up and that rod will drop straight down the hole and you'll actually hear this drag clicking as it takes off. You just remove the rod from the holder here, open the bale, tighten up the drag, set the hook and fight your fish. It's uh, fantastic. Like you said, I wanted to thanks, thank Andy and James and uh, T. Wild and Dan for uh, coming down, especially Andy for leaving these and uh, James Sullivan for making them. So that easy let's get some more fish all right we got a tip down here first one andy tommy new york boys yay, yay. this one's for you guys there he is get on there There we go, look at that. There we go. 
quick strike rig deep in the smolf there. These Sullivan tip downs are fun. Like, I just tried them last week for the first time, and they are a blast. Um, we're gonna get some more minnows down, get some more ready for you guys. This could be a 20 pounder. Twelve and a half feet of water. Guaranteed it ain't a baby. I'd get him before I went into the trees. But it's got a quick strike rig on it, so should be in his mouth somewhere. Got him? Oh, oh yeah. Feel good? Good, good. Okay. I've seen it once. There we go. There we go. That's a nice northern. There you go, tulipy for bait. Nice, he's got to be 30 inches close. Huh. Devil's Lake Pike. All right, got another, got another STD going here. Got him. Ooh, feels like a decent fish. What are you supposed to say? Thanks for the STDs, Andy. Ooh, this feels like a nice fish. These tip drops are awesome. We're just sitting here next to the vehicle and this one pops off. Homemade quick strike rigs and heavy braid. The guy next to us just got one about 22 pounds. It's a decent one. Andy, I'm so glad I got your STDs. That's a nice one. Holy shit, I thought it was. Look at the girth on this guy. Woo! There's no hook in there. Caught my finger. Look how fat that thing is. <laughs> Look at that. The color's on that fish, too. I mean, there's probably 30 inches, but man, I bet he's, I don't know, he's heavy as heck. Quick strike rig and smelt. Fishing in 12 feet of water up in some trees here out in Devil's Lake. All right, let's get this ST back down. Here you go. Oh, that's still like a good one. <clears throat> and then, then use back reel if you if you if you reel if you runs reel backwards. That could be a giant man. That could be. I'm seriously. That could be a. a I think that's a, I think that's a huge fish. I'm gonna get up the gaff. Huh? Big, big, huh? It looks like it. He's going the other way again. I had him up almost through the hole. <clears throat> the old STD. Does it again? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this is gonna be just a giant, I think. That's a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a big fish. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, that bastard. Bugger, bugger, that bugger. <laughs> That's gotta be the big one of the day, I'll bet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll uh, pause it for a second. There we go, another big pike, 31 and a half inches. Thanks, Andy, for the STD. Thanks, James, for making them. Gosh, these things are tanks. Got the old STD working for me again. <laughs> oh my shit. These are gosh, these STDs are fun. That's a nice one. Well, this one anyway. Ah. I'm putting them back down the hole, apparently. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, get a, make sure I don't get no hooks on my hand. Which are right. There. There we go. Look at that. A nice hefty Devil's Lake Pike, probably right on that, right around the 30 inch range. Caught it on the old Sullivan tip down again. Tim's caught two or three on tip ups, and I've caught three on tip down. So for some reason, it looks like these pike like me on the tip downs for some reason. But these things are they're just easy. Um, we'll take this fish off and show you a quick video on how to uh, reset those. <laughs> 